Here's my Stitch Fix. Those of you who don't know, Stitch Fix is a clothing subscription service. You can get it every couple weeks, once a month. I get it quarterly. I think you can get it less than that, like on demand. Um, I usually try and do it seasonally, so this should be mostly fall stuff, is what I kind of told them I wanted. As all I told them was I wanted fall stuff, and I liked a deep purple. That's pretty much all I said, <laughs> so we'll see what I get. They do send you now, it's like, I think I got eight, but it's between seven and ten ones for you to look at and say, yes, I like that, no, I don't like it. You can pick up to five and or if you don't why well, i think i only picked two or three i think i picked three and just figured they could send me the rest of the other because you get a total of five pieces they can send me the other two just random because <laughs> the rest of what they offered me i didn't really like so you get it's free shipping to you and you get a priority mail return envelope to send back anything you don't like for free is like this little envelope here has has these cards that I don't really want to look at them yet. I would be surprised, at least somewhat, is these little cards. I don't remember what I chose either, so that's got to be a surprise too. And then there's a note from your stylist. I get a different one every single time. Yep, another new one. Because I guess it's because I don't do it often enough. It says Happy Fix Day. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to read it because they tell you what they're sending you. And then here's the dreaded price sheet. I do have... you. It's $20 styling fee and then anything that you buy, that $20 comes off of it. Or some people, I don't know how they choose them. I think it's pretty random. They may have some way of choosing it. But I have what's called a style pass. So I pay $49 a year. And then I don't have those $20 fees, but um, they also credit me back that $49. So that's cool. So I have that $49 credit on here. So it's like I have free money, but I really paid it a long time ago. But since, you know, you forget that you paid it out two or three months ago. So it's like free money. In fact, it says, yeah, it does have what I say. I said I had $59 when I looked online and here it says $49. I don't know, the total, um, stylus pick subtotal is 272 Buy all discount of 25% would bring it down by $68, which would bring it down to 204 Minus my credit of $49 would make the whole box $155. But let's see, they are... The most expensive one is $78. The cheapest one is $38. And then we'll look at them piece by piece, of course. Uh, here's, I said I wanted purple. It looks like purple pants there. Uh, I like colored jeans, colored skinny jeans in particular. It says instantly buy styles that go with what's in your fix. Huh. Download or visit our app to learn more or just scan the QR code. So I guess I can buy things to go with what's in here if I wanted to. Oh, these are purple. I couldn't tell in the picture when I accepted them whether they were brown or purple. They're kind of a brownie purple, <laughs> but they are a purple. I don't know if you can tell. They look brown there too, but they are a purple. They're 18 W's, democracy jeans. Let's see, curve equality, engineered to lift, expand, and enhance for a universal fit because all shapes are different, but created equal. Okay, let's see how much these are. Um, Democracy Eddie, high rise, colored skinny jeans in purple, 18W, $78. Oof, that's a little high. But I don't like high rise normally, but we'll see. But it's definitely higher in the back than the front. So when you bend over, your undies don't show. Because look at the difference between the back and the front. <laughs> so maybe it's only high rise in the back, which would be okay with me. Alrighty. So I purposely got this top thinking they would go together, but they don't. 
in the picture, it looked like these went together, but they don't really. This is this is purple. This is more burgundy. They don't go together at all. I was thinking they would, but no, no such luck. So this is, I have one this same exact style and I like it. It's just not this color. It's like a split neck, I guess they call them, V-neck split neck. It's got little cap sleeves. It's got little pleaty things right here. I don't know if you can see those. Let's see if I can. Yeah, so you can see right here, there's some little pleats. Ugh, knocked everything down with my, oh, here it is. Okay, this is, let's see who makes this. So we can figure out the price. Daniel Rain, oh, Daniel Rain's gonna be, hmm, $59. <laughs> Daniel Wayne Patuka pleated split neck in indigo, $54. What did I say? $59. How's close? Daniel Wayne's always high. I wish it went with these pants. I don't know that I have anything to go with these pants. Here's another purple, but I don't think it goes with these pants either. It's more of a pinky purple. I don't know what I'm going to wear with those pants. This one's got... It does have a button. As you can see that, it's one of those little cloth covered buttons on the sleeve, but it's not the tab roll kind. So it's a three quarter sleeve. Pretty color. It's got buttons, but they don't unbutton, if you know what I mean, which is a good thing because when they unbutton, I get the gapping thing, but these don't, these are sewed shut. So this, then you won't get the gapping. You just have this pretty little row of, uh, you can't even tell the pattern is so busy, but there's a little row of buttons going down the front, but you can't really tell because it's got a very busy pattern. <laughs> um, this one is fun to fun, mainly printed detail, top in burgundy um this one is 48 dollars so i have a credit for 48 dollars so i could get this one for free <laughs> um there's another one more top in blue i always like blue these are heavier but it's kind of weird they're sleeveless but they're heavy I guess that would work for fall. You'd have to maybe, if it gets colder, wear something over it. But this one is also a Daniel Rain. Oh, maybe I did the, the last Daniel Rain one I did was the wrong one. This one's the one that's $54. The other Daniel Rain one, oh, they're also, it's also $54. Okay. The other one's called Burgundy and this one's called Indigo. I think it's the same blouse, same exact blouse in two different colors because it's got the little pleat things here. Yeah, it's the exact same blouse. Got the pleats, got the lace here just two different colors of the same thing nobody's going to notice but me that they're the same blouse <laughs> that's why they're both 54 dollars because they're the exact same top and then this one was what was this one this one was 48 dollars the pants were 78 and then this is the last piece so this is the cheapest one and you wouldn't think it would be because it is a cardigan and it is Mixed by 41 Hawthorne. Uh, Barona brush knit in white. Well, it's kind of white, white and gray. I don't know what I would wear this over because it's got the stripes, so you would have to you could wear it over what I have on. <laughs> I've got a gray on, but it's yeah, a t-shirt, and this is a little more dressy, but yeah, I'm not sure what I would wear that with. Oh, my room is such a mess. 
to be able to try this stuff on, I'm going to have to reorganize and move some stuff or you won't even be able to see because there's so much junk piled up everywhere because I still haven't unpacked since today's Wednesday and I got here, got back on Sunday and there's still stuff piled everywhere. <laughs> I like all of these. I'm not sure I want all these, but if I got them all, it'd only be $155. Let's see if I didn't, if I picked and choose, then I miss, I lose that $68 buy all discount so if I got say the jeans so almost 80 and one at the top say 50 50 it's 130 just for two pieces it's 155 for all of the pieces so of course I do have that credit that's why it's 155 I don't know. We'll have to figure out the math and figure out which ones look good on me and all that. The only with Stitch Fix, you only have three days, so we got to decide what I, what I'm going to do quickly. Y'all need to help me. <laughs> okay, here's piece number one. I wouldn't wear it with this probably, but it does go with this gray, but this gray is a little casual. what I would wear it with. So my, my only hesitation. I like it. It's super soft and it's cute. There's blouse number one of the two that are just alike. I just put on some black jeans of mine that I already had. So here is this one. It's kind of pretty. It's almost brown but it's Sort of a burgundy. It looks more brown in the picture, I mean in the camera, than it is. I don't look good in brown, so I definitely wouldn't want it if it was brown. So here's number one. Here's another one. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think this is frumpy old lady looking? With this pattern? It's got little pleats here and buttons here. It's three quarter sleeve. I don't know. What do you think of the pattern? Do I look frumpy old lady in it? Oh, you can see the pleats now when I turn sideways. I don't know. What do you think? I was thinking I could get away with wearing this with pretty much any plain colored top. Definitely black or white, of course, but with this blue one on, trying to decide if I have enough to wear with this but what do, how do you think it looks with this what do you think here's the last two pieces my granddaughter said I could get away with wearing these two together these are the purple pants and the blue denim rain top so these fit pretty good they don't bag in the behind like i have that problem a lot of times and even though they're high rise they're not that super high rise so they don't bug me they've got pockets front and back but the question is it's a pretty color um or they were 75 dollars or 78 dollars or whatever it is and these Daniel Rain ones are both $54. They're both heavy material, but short sleeved. My phone's ringing, but I don't want to stop it because it'll stop you. So you just have to listen to it ring. So, what do you think? I was looking for things to wear with these pants. Here's a navy blue top I've got. Goes okay with them. Trying to justify getting them because I like the color and I like colored skinny jeans. <laughs> Trying to find ways to wear these jeans and then I go look in the mirror and I realize that they're totally puckering right here and wrinkling and they pull weird. So I don't think I want them. Probably could wear this with it, but I don't 
think I want them after I looked in the mirror and I can see all this bunching up right here. All right, we tried things on. I'm glad I tried those purple pants on with two or three different things because then when I tried it on with that shorter last purple top, I realized how baggy that crotch was and wrinkly and stuff, and that just doesn't look good on anybody. So those are definitely a no. So this one, do you think it's it doesn't reach all the way to close in the front? It goes to like about here, but I think that's how those these are supposed to go. So I don't know. This is only like thirty five dollars ish, thirty. $38. So, what do you think about this one? Since I'm not getting it all because I'm not getting the pants because they fit funky, then I gotta decide if I want any or maybe just one piece. Um, this top, if I got one of the Daniel Wayne's, I get one or the other, not both. So, this is the first Daniel Wayne. This is this color on me. It's kind of a brownish burgundy color and this is the other one they're exactly the same except for pattern and color there's the other one or neither <laughs> then there's this one which I think is a pretty color I just don't know is it frumpy old lady looking I think it's really pretty but you know did you get too much print it's kind of Looks frumpy old lady, but I don't know. I kind of like this one. You have to help me decide because I'm probably only going to end up getting one top and maybe the sweater. Definitely not the pants because I didn't like the way they bagged at the nether regions, <laughs> shall we say. So I'm definitely not going to get these. And this is the $78 one, so that goes. And this, this one is $48, which... I've got a $49 credit, so I can get this one for free, basically. And these two are both $54. And then this is $38. So what do you think? Stitch Fix? Or no? And I also have this month, you have to take into account this, I have this month a Wee Blessings coming, and I've been liking their stuff very well and it's 40 to 60 percent off of of the original price so do i want to get any of this do i want to get one piece of this do i not get any to save the money for wee blessings just one of these just like knock your socks off that i should get it and use that 48 dollars towards it i don't really know what to do this time so i need your help so let me know it was i really like kind of all of them somewhat so if I got all of them, it'd be $155. But once the pants fit weird, that all goes out the window. And then you don't get that 25% off. So you don't get the $68 off. So then it's a little pricier each piece because you're not getting it for 25% off. So my shirt says, in case you wondered, the Lord is a mighty warrior. And then it's got... A&M on it for my granddaughter's college. <laughs> I don't wear these kind of baggy old t-shirty things very often. This is one of those um, moisture wicking kind of ones. And I thought I might need it today because it was, I made a, you'll see it in a couple weeks, but I made a taste test Tuesday video in my car. Bad mistake. I made it in my car turn the engine off and in five minutes, less than five minutes, my phone overheated to the point where I got this screen with a thermometer on it, peaked up at the top saying, don't turn your phone back on till you cool it back down or you'll ruin your phone basically. So that's how hot it is in Texas right now. I couldn't sit in my car for five minutes without it pegging out my phone. That's why you don't leave children or dogs in the car in Texas ever. Well, you shouldn't leave kids kids and pets in the car anyway, but particularly not in Texas summer. Every year we have one or two kids that die from the parents just, you know, it's usually, a, you know, it's a 
an honest mistake, I guess. But like the dad's taking the kid and he doesn't normally take the kid to drop off to daycare. So he forgets the kids back there and the kid's asleep and he just goes on to work and leaves the kid in the car. Those kinds of things happen. And then it gets so hot here. I mean, it can get 140, 180 degrees inside the car with the windows up and the heat baking on it. So those babies just don't stand a chance. Same with pets too. And if somebody sees it, they'll just usually break a window and get whatever it is out. If we're walking by and you see a baby in a car by themselves, most people will just try the doors. And if that doesn't work, they'll just break a window to get that, that baby out of there or pet too. Okay, enough pessimistic thing. So I'm, I do unboxings, as you just saw, I do, I'm doing a collab coming up August 4th. It's being released and there's 15 of us and we're all going to have a giveaway. You have to be subscribed to all 15 of us, but you can enter 15, 15 giveaways. So that's really cool. And then I also have a crafting video, not video, um, collab coming up where there's three of us and we're going to sit each other crafts and do a video on that. So I got a couple things coming up and I'm thinking about doing a makeup one. If anybody thinks they might be interested, I'll have to hit up some of the usual suspects that like to do the makeup collabs. I'm thinking about doing one that's five eyeshadow colors from five different palettes. So say you have a palette that's got red and blue and green in it. You can't do red, blue, and green from that palette. You have to take the red one from that palette, the blue one from another palette, the green one from another palette, like that. So anyway, thought that might be fun. It'd be some like, bam, I, I stuff because all those bright colors, but I still think it'd be fun. So I'm gonna see if a few people are interested because I think that would be fun. And then I have another one I'm percolating on in September, I think that I think it'll be a lot, a lot of fun and it doesn't cost, it won't cost a dime. So what's that gonna be? Anyway, so thank you for watching. Give me some advice. I have no idea what to do here. Um, I used to have a blue one that looked almost just like this and at the moment I can't find it, but it's still probably around here somewhere. So I probably shouldn't get this one because I think I have one almost exactly like it. So this one's probably should be a no too, unless I got rid of that one. I don't know, it's not in my closet. I don't think it's in my closet, but I can't find it in my stuff I put away either. So I don't know, I might've had to get rid of it because it got ripped or something, but definitely I have one almost exactly like this. So in, I'm kind of afraid to get this one because then the sure is shooting. If I get, get this one, the other one will turn out and then I'll have two of them. <laughs> so this one and the pants are probably no's. So then it's between these two different purpley ones and the sweater. So I get some, all, none, wait for wee blessings and spend my money that were there. But I do have a $49 credit. You got to take that into account. So let me know on all of this what you think. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> if you enjoy this kind of video, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. I'm working towards 500. When I get 500, I'll have another big giveaway. Every 100, I do a big giveaway. And I do some little sneaky giveaways in between. In fact, there's one going on right now. If you search around and find it, there's a little little mini giveaway going on. But you gotta got to watch to the end and find it. And I'm not going to tell you where it is. See you soon. Bye-bye.